we're going to talk about library information sciences and intellectual freedom. Dr. Garner, based on your extensive experience, please share with us um, how intellectual freedom is handled by library information schools. I'm happy to do that. I have a mixed report for you. The fact is that the American Library Association accredits the Masters of Library Science degree. ALA does not require that information about intellectual freedom and our ethics be taught in library schools. Therefore, some library schools include it in a core course that every student is required to take. And, the, and students coming out of those programs have a good foundation of intellectual freedom and ethics. Other programs choose to deal with it in elective courses. Only in those programs, students must choose to take those electives before they receive that kind of foundation. And um, so if the students are not aware of intellectual freedom issues or availability of classes, what would how would you suggest to deal with this problem, this situation? Well, I think ALA does a lot to address that problem. The fact is that ALA has their Office for Intellectual Freedom that has education around these issues as a huge component of their mission. They produce publications, they put on programs at not only national but state conferences in order to educate the members of our profession around these issues. Thank you so much. Um, any final thoughts on the topic? Um, I hope someday that it, education about these issues is a requirement for all students in all programs. Thank you.